Matty is often overlooked because he's pretty irrelevant, but he actually does have things going for him. For starters, he can perform amazingly as long as it doesn't matter. He also plus two'd out of the first sub five average, which demonstrates that he can plus two solves, further exemplifying his cubing prowess. A good way to summarize Matty is like a discount team on. Moving on. Leo is mostly known for being another Asian speed cubing prodigy. He had about three seconds of fame before being completely outdone by another certain Asian prodigy. Sure, that doesn't mean he isn't incredibly talented, but it doesn't sound too great to be less relevant than someone who may still be in pull-ups. All in all, he is pretty decent, but gets outshined by other cubers. Also, based on his recent results, his chance at winning worlds isn't looking too hot. Timon was the first person to get sub 5 average, which was pretty cool, but since then he has been completely outshined by the same 9 year old who crushed the dreams of Leo. However, unlike everyone else on this list, he is better than Yi Hang at something, that being efficiency. Also to me, the last solve of his former world record average has to be the second best solve I can think of, so good job on that. Other than that, he's pretty trash. Some notable things Max has done include tying the world record average, losing to a baby, and getting the world record single. He is also amazing at every big cube, and just looking at his results brings a smile to your face. But alas, all good things must come to an end. He actually has a Google Doc with all his best at-home results, and his best unofficial average of 5 at home is 4.2, meaning it would take a miracle for him to break the world record in comp. It also, based on his results, appears he's reaching the climax of his cubing career. <laughs> Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, Yi Heng Wang. This borderline infant child managed to just in the span of four years go from an amateur cuber averaging 30 seconds to the world's uncontested best 3x3 solver. In the span of nine competitions, he managed to certify himself as an impossible barrier, bringing shame to all grown men alike. He's better than everyone at everything and that's why he's number one here. 